ladies and gentlemen, you may simply know me as Loving Miss Prime. Welcome back to y'all's truly doing a reaction thing to Psycho Pass. This is episode three, titled Rearing Conventions. I don't, I, I have no idea what the, the name of the title, how it's going to affect the episode. But I, I mean, if we go by wordplay, rearing, that means it's, it's coming from behind. I mean, since the show's all about, you know, mental stability, so... You know what? What we're questioning our our direction. I <laughs> that's my theory. I, I'm almost mind blown if it's correct. I really am digging this. I feel you know, Psychopaths is a gem. It's, it's definitely not a show for everyone. If you don't like kind of like the cop drama, investigative kind of like situation, maybe this show's not for you. The thing about shows like these is that they're so character driven, they're emotionally driven, and I sense something very different about Psychopaths. I'm glad that these characters are not living tropes. They're not living anime tropes. They're not really in disagreements, they don't hate each other, they're not butting heads. At least not in the moment. I know this is not like a cop kind of show, but I'm defining it like it is. And I'm a freaking sold, man, I'm so. So again, I am watching this blind, this is my first time watching Psycho Pass, I have no idea what today's episode is going to offer. So without further ado, let's dive in, it is episode 3, titled, Rearing Conventions, let's react. Whoa, look at my guy. I mean, I wish I had that much discipline in me. <laughs> I just don't. Why is it so hard to work out? Well, he looks so different with the slick back. <laughs> oh, he's a smoker. You need to quit, man. So things will kill you. Whoa, my guy. You're angry. Look at that. That's his like little wall. Is he creating his own little investigative thing? Ooh, I'm onto you. By the way, this intro is absolutely badass. This song has been stuck in my head. It's a cool song that I listen to now when I'm editing my videos. I love it. I like it a lot. He worked at Hanji Oji Drug <gasps> Factory. His co workers found his body at 4 a.m. They're out and about. They say the drone he was servicing dismembered him. Whoa! Could that just an must suck. And that's what I thought. Died by a little robot. I heard it was already the third worker death at the drone factory this Whoa. year. Whoa! That's clearly not. Okay. Right. That doesn't make sense. The morning shift found the Sounds like an inside job. A first degree murder case. Ooh. Well, if there are only 50 total workers, it seems straightforward. We just check each one of their crime codes. I mean, that would be the most straightforward thing to do. Okay. Hey, yeah, in the soundtrack, I don't think I discussed that just yet. It's a little bit out there for such a futuristic anime. I'm finally getting the hang of how to work with the enforcers. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> Are you talking about working with the enforcers? <laughs> Look at his face! Or do you mean working over the <laughs> inspector should? Oh my god, this guy's like rules learn from their experience. I hope for all our sakes you're not Dude, why so serious? Can you please show us where you found him? No problem, Inspector. Follow me. After the drones come off the line, we bring them here for test runs and safety checks. Have you observed the pace of the work having any kind of strain on your debuggers? From time to time. With no internet, workers don't have distractions, but they also don't have diversions. So this entire facility is offline? That's correct, miss. There's not even an old ethernet cable Whoa. here. Whoa! Every structure on the campus is built as an anechoic chamber, but we're also 100% secure from hacking. <laughs> so then again, that means it's not an outside source that would be so the killer. Isolated. That would mean it must be one of the workers. Here's a recording. Of <gasps> I was hoping to see it. I know. I'm sorry, beat some morbid, but I wanted to see the actual crime scene. What the fuck? That's gotta suck. And they with him. And his psychopath was clean. Oh. It had to have been an accident. Really? Three dismemberment deaths are accidents. You should watch more workplace safety. Like. <laughs> I yeah, I don't know, man. Why would the robot have such a massive defect? And three people died? I don't know. I'm already having it sent to headquarters. Karana Mori will be analyzing it. That's good. I mean, I would. It, not to expect much. I would check the robots or the drone thing, whatever it is. Oh my, I'm starting to sense it's that guy that's standing there. Thank you. This helps. 
Let's say he just gave him a floppy disk. I don't know which worker would even be your suspect. So you can't blame the robot. Sure, until we run this data through the civil system. I don't know. That's such an extreme defect. We can use the devices to check them right now. But that would mean we'd have to suspend operations. Hey, who cares, man? You're not in control. This is the police. It's the PSB, man. You listen to us. If you can find evidence that Shioyama's death is a murder, we will cooperate. Why, why did the police get a murder? We're not assume this was a tragic accident. Oh, I don't trust this guy. I remind you to win also a signed order from the Minister of Economy himself. Wow. I hear does not come this guy's here. being very suspicious. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> These kind of places will do just about anything to protect their profit Ooh. margins. They don't want people like us from the outside. Metal okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's all about the monies. For to chalk this up as an accident, yeah. sweep it under the rug as soon as possible. Because then production doesn't have to be paused or delayed. In fact, the best they can manage is a quick hue check of a person's stress levels. Wow. If we really want it, then no matter who's ahead of us, we can jump to the front of the line and receive an analysis. Okay, all right. Oh, he's going to show us right now? Dude, I love it how the gun detects who picks it up, too. System link cannot be established. Wait, what? The dominators might as well be scrap iron. Oh, so the gun is useless! It needs Wi-Fi! Just seeing pics would give any enforcer a gut feeling. Alright, so now I'm starting to sense, you know, a setup. Yeah, it's personal, absolutely. So with the no Wi-Fi, the drones attacking three people so far? Ew, sounds like an agenda. Has your inspection oh, turned up this guy. Leads? No, sir. Everything's I don't trust well. this guy at all. <laughs> Whoa. Think fast, yellow green. <laughs> what the fuck, man? What is this? Why are those Best way to let off steam and get their minds off things. Uh, right. no. Yeah, but what if we take our workers' mental states quite Wow. <laughs> He's not being bullied. He's actually helping us. For all we know, Sybil might have recommended he work here because he's naturally suited to this kind of whipping boy. Wow! Someone's civil system always gets it. <laughs> Shots fire! Duh, dude, I'm really, really liking this guy. Extremely lots. You know, I expected Kogami to like follow those anime tropes of obnoxious, bravado kind of person, but he's not. It's very down to earth kind of dude. That said, it's been a year since his last transfer. Well, wait, didn't you oh, go I think I have an idea. About a year ago? I see a big board of psychopaths with clear colors, and then one employee who gets cloudy. Interesting. Yeah, the hue looks like it was at its most cloudy the day before Shuyama died. Oh, ho! Oh. Psychopath doesn't just improve after committing murder. Don't forget yes, it so does. Seeing this principle at work when it's the other in the mind, man. Stressed by beating up on I was just about to say it's relief. No mystery here, guys. The stress around. I'm tired of hearing about your gut feelings. You're just deluding yourself. What is wrong with this guy? With that kind of paranoia and aggression, it's no wonder you latent criminals are society's garbage. Wow. You crow about order, and yet we're still here investigating three dead people. Gino. <laughs> I mean, if there's hard evidence, I'll find it. That's enough! Why is he so hard on them? Sir, can we speak? He's a shill pill. What have an aneurysm? Kinaza, why are you acting so strange? Yeah, what's up with him today? Something happened between you and Masaoka. Ooh. Oh, look at those eyes! Uh, sorry. Yo, you asked the wrong question, baby girl. Enforcer, sir. Something did happen between them, then, huh? Why are they? Why even force them to be teammates? Well then, so like a fool, you will have to learn through experience. Oh, it seems that's the only way you'll understand. Eh, that doesn't sound too good. I can understand how he probably feel that he used to be very compassionate. <laughs> Something must have happened. Don't talk about that. With 200 meters in communication. Don't brush it off. Tell us what happened between them. This that'll reach is the elevator hall. The floor. Oh, they're teasing us now. The plan is just to talk to him, right? <laughs> Look at that face. He's like, uh, sort of. We're gonna talk to him, sort of. <laughs> Do your meals taste better if you kill someone? Well, hey, answer me. 
So he's kind of pushed him to his limit, huh? Whoa. But the fear in him. But I don't think it's him, though. I don't think he's, he's the killer. I have a feeling he's going to kill himself. Wait, so he is the killer. Holy crap, never mind. He is a maniac. Well, dude, you got about to, you're about to have a drone chase, yes! Oh my god! Looks like we have our answer. It works. What do you mean it works? Well, you got a freaking eye from this little robot, dude. Oh! Oh well, you can't get them. Poor little guy. Whoa. Why would you gamble with our lives just to prove a point to Kinasa? <laughs> it's not about proving a point, it's about getting justice for the dead. Sometimes when you want to uncover the truth, you have to be prepared to risk your life. Damn right. Oh my god, this guy <laughs> he's feel like cutting each floor to get to them. <laughs> he's gonna get to them right now. Oh my god. They're using wired internet! This will be able to shoot! And then you get shots. <laughs> ah, there you go, and you're down. <laughs> Does that mean that they still gotta deal with the drone? They still gotta deal with the drone! Whoa, be careful, my guy. Oh. Yo, a psychopath video game would be freaking epic! Yo! What if you would have shot her by accident? <laughs> Damn. That gun is dangerous. He said he didn't want to be some hunting dog, he wanted to be a detective. But the look I saw in his eyes that night was more like that of a wolf who had its prey by the neck and couldn't wait to taste blood. Ooh. Oh my god, another cool episode down. The show keeps getting better and better each episode. I'm talking about some really strong storytelling right here. Like, I wish the animation looked more adult and more pristine. But I'm sure with the budgets and all, you know, eh, that's the one thing I don't like about Psychopaths. I don't really dig the animation. It could... I don't know, I, I, I would have loved so much more. That does not take away from how brilliant the show is. Alright, so in today's episode, our little group of public safety officers, I don't really know what the, their terminology is, but they were sent to investigate this, uh, this drone manufacturing plant. Apparently one of their drones or little robot things uh, has the, dismembered three of their employees. I know, not funny, but he makes me eager. So our little pals investigate the question of uh, the, uh, the boss, the Henton show guy. For whatever reason, this manufacturing plant doesn't have any, like, web or service or Wi-Fi, whatever you want to call it. The civil system is kind of, like, down, and there's no way of identifying a killer. The boss person of the manufacturing plant uh, is not allowing the enforcers or inspectors to be able to connect with their dominators and you know go one by one to each employee to check out their psychopaths. Somehow, some way, easily detected, uh, the characters see that one of the employees is being bullied and then they narrowed it down that, hey, maybe that's the killer. And it was pretty simple from there. But the nitpits that we got in today's episode are really important for later on. Like Inosa, apparently Ham and Akane had an argument or a disagreement where um, Kinosa is very against Akane being very, I don't know, maybe very tech on, very compassionate uh, with the enforcers. I guess Kinosa and Masaoka had a situation, uh, I guess maybe back in the day. Even the other enforcers know this and they kind of like brush it off and laugh at Akane asking what happened between them. So I'm sure we will get to know eventually. I mean, if I were to guess, I don't know, did Masaoka steal Genosa's girlfriend or something? I don't know. Maybe that's too extreme. <laughs> then again, enforcers are bad guys, you know, right? They're criminals. So what if Masaoka killed someone that Genosa knew or loved? That would be even 
insane. The way today's episode ended was really cool. Akane is realizing Kogami's agenda, it, sort of. Like, instead of feeling like he's a hound or someone that's being abused by, you know, the PSB, someone who's probably being abused by the system, you know, being forced to be an enforcer, being labeled a criminal. She's looking at Kogami as a warrior, someone who's probably much smarter than the system. Maybe there's a reason why he became an enforcer, or maybe I'm just looking way too deep into this. But Kogami is pretty smart. He's well driven and obviously we got to see a little bit of his drive of course everyone has secrets so hopefully eventually we'll keep getting more nitbits between what drives kogami so all right guys that about wraps up today's episode what are your thoughts what do you think of ginosa being so angsty about the enforcers and would you even feel the same way like how would you feel where you know you're you're part of the uh, you're part of a bureau. You're like an officer of the law, and they are forcing you to team up with inmates. If you you know like how would you feel about that? And would you have sympathy? Would you even want to trust them? So I understand Genosa's side, but then I understand Akane's side. I don't know. So make sure you leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. And as always, keep blessed. Thanks so much for watching, and farewell for now. Bye bye.